So hello there. So uh, who are you and uh, what are you doing? Hi, uh, Martijn. It's uh, uh, Vincent van der Noord. I'm from uh, Powered by the Crowd. Well, we actually have just uh, came up with a new name for... Uh, so uh, actually from today we're called uh, Jungo. And um, what we're doing in essence is uh, we're crowdfunding mortgages. We're uh, connecting lenders and, uh, and uh, homeowners directly to fund their home. Okay, so that's a quite a new market. So uh, I think many startups I know they are really fast in 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 getting in the open and do their thing. But I guess uh, few it was a bit more compl complex experience. So first start. Was, uh, yeah. How did you came up with, uh, with the idea? Uh, well, the idea is of course uh, relatively simple. If you look at uh, how much uh, people are getting on their savings, it's I think one point nine one percent at the moment. Uh, and what people are paying for their mortgage is two and a half to three percent. So there's, there's quite a big gap. Um, and uh, that gap is because, of course, uh, mortgages are traditionally funded by banks. They have uh, a lot of overhead, a lot of extra costs. And we think if we connect uh, people directly, you can cut away a lot of the middleman, a lot of the extra costs, um, and uh, give back the savings actually to the, to the people investing, to the, the actual people instead of giving it to the bank. Okay, but there is also the difference in, 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 in uh, percentage uh, also because of the risk, uh, that, that that's maybe the risk of not getting your money back is bigger. Of, of course, yes. But uh, if you look, of course, there's also always a risk involved. But if you look at the, the Dutch mortgage market, um, a lot of investors find it very attractive because the risk is relatively low. The Dutch mortgage, uh, apparently the Dutch, uh, what do you call them, mortgagees, the people who actually get the mor mortgage, um, um, almost uh, always pay back their mortgage. Uh, I think there's this saying that people would rather eat their shoes than not pay their mortgage. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I think we're unique in that, but uh, that, that give, makes the Dutch mortgage a relatively low risk. Yeah, and I think also the problem I, I, I heard from a financial expert because the, the banks, they only, uh, uh, at the moment that people are not paying their mortgage, uh, then it's already too late. Uh, and then they're so deep into the financial uh, shit. Absolutely. Uh, that's already too too late. Um, but um, uh, then you had the idea. So it's really cl a, a clear idea and also a really big market. And I think also uh, talking about the risk, uh, because when you are doing crowdfunding for a company and when it uh, goes bankrupt, then there's most of the time nothing left. And, and, exactly. and, and now you have to you, uh, then you still have to have the house uh, house left. Yeah, you have to, you have the collateral, so that's, uh, there's there's still a house behind it. Yeah, it, 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 you're investing the money in stones in, in a sense. Yeah, yeah, and 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 but then okay, the idea is clear. But how? What were then your next steps? Because it's not a, a, a really easy track, I think. Well, <laughs> of course, uh, when you start out, you think, well, it's incredibly simple. All you got to do is uh, you got to collect the money and give it to somebody who needs the money, and you're done. In, in essence, that's that's what it is. But uh, unfortunately, or, or fortunately, there are lots of regulations, rules. Um, the actually uh, giving people a mortgage is is more complex than just uh, giving them them a lot of money. You have to do a lot of risk assessment, and there's processes involved. And of course, people commit for 30 years. Um, so it's, it's a much more uh, complex product than you'd think from looking from the outside. Uh, and like I said, uh, there's a lot of rules, regulations, uh, compliance. So there's a lot of different aspects. Uh, me personally, I come from more of a de design uh, experience perspective. Uh, so I, w I always want to make it easy, make it simple, make it, uh, uh, make it very, uh, very easy to use for people. And suddenly there's a lot of different aspects uh, also that becoming more and more involved in this uh, in this project so and 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 how did you find out uh, uh, because uh, are you doing th this business together with a a, a co-founder uh, yes I uh, am actually doing this with the three of us right now uh, we have a co-founder Jasper who is uh, sitting uh, on the other side of the room um, who's much more uh, have much more technical knowledge and we have uh, Gerard Looyen who is uh, sitting on that side of me uh, and uh, he is um, more of the financial expert. He has uh, many years of experience in banking. And that's of course something that you also need when you want to uh, start with mortgages. And can you tell me something more about your expedition from the idea phase to where you're standing right now? Um, yeah, let me, let me see. Um, 
Well, we, we started out with lots of ideas, um, as, as you can imagine. So we, uh, we actually had the, the whiteboard, I think we, um, we filled it up with ideas 20, 30 times. And um, we kept on just seeing uh, what, what are you allowed to do? Um, what can you do? Because uh, mortgages, it's, it's a large amount. So it's quite difficult to, to crowdfund the entire amount. Uh, if you look at the crowdfunding market in the Netherlands is 100 million this year, I think, perhaps 150 million. Uh, the mortgage market is about 60 billion dollars or, or euros. Um, so it's um, it, it's you, you have to con constantly um, do a reality check and see what what what's what's doable. What can we do? And of course, we have this this beautiful, uh, big, hairy, audacious goal on wh what we want to do. Uh, but you have to break it down and say, okay, what then? What is the next step going to be? What can we do? Uh, so what we're we what we're doing right now is much more traditional than what we what we ideally want to do, but um, you, you need to get started. And 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 uh, what was your ideal uh, uh, when you started? Um, well, the ideal was make it incredibly simple, just uh, really c connecting people, uh, completely hassle-free, and uh, perhaps even thinking even further. Um, couldn't you start like um, like um, uh, why would people actually need a mortgage? Couldn't you have more like a, a lena or what are uh, huren? What do you call it? Um, rent. Yeah, have more like a renting uh, system or uh, so we went from left to right and all kind of different concepts. But in the end, um, you can't change everything at once. So we decided well we're going to start out with uh, the mortgages that people know but make them uh, simpler, more transparent and fairer. Yeah, so I think that's very really important too because in the end you can really have a big vision but uh, you always have to take the first step and also take people uh, with you on your journey. So Exactly, so one, of, one of the things we said as, a, as a sometimes jokingly around the office is uh, in 2025 the only couch you would need is a, um, a couch um, to sit on. And of course in Dutch uh, the, the enige bank die je nodig hebt is een bank om op te zitten. Yeah. So that's uh, <laughs> so that, that's the idea. So that's uh, that's uh, that's your goal for 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 two uh, for 2020, and um, and uh, where you're standing right now? Because uh, are you already live with the with the concept? Uh, no, no, we're not live yet. Um, we're still working, uh, of course, uh, with the regulator to get all the, the appropriate licenses, um, and we're hoping to start uh, end of this year or beginning of next year to start uh, crowdfunding the first mortgages. Okay, and, and, and what are your key uh, ingredients of your success? You got uh, the, the platform, but also the, 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 uh, uh, the licenses. Uh, do, do, you, uh, do you really want to have your own licenses or are you going to work together with other stakeholders in that? Uh, no, we're getting our own licenses because uh, you want to be independent in this, uh, in this part. Okay, and, and, and how do you get a license? Because I, I, I hear quite some stories, especially also on Twitter, uh, of people who are trying to get a license and they get really frustrated about it. So how did you do that? Um, now we're still in the, in the process, of course. Um, but I, th I think it's a matter of uh, making sure you have all the, you, you tick all the right boxes. You have to make sure that your processes are in order, um, that, that you're a reliable partner. That, uh, li Like I said, that, uh, starting a mortgage company is, is a lot more complicated. Um, if you start just a crowdfunding like uh, crowdfunding platforms that we have right now, are more from the uh, SME companies, uh, and they get a uh, you don't need actually need a license. The uh, authorities give you um, uh, a I don't know what what's it called. Yeah, uh, just uh, a, sp a special treatment. <laughs> you, you get a special treatment, but uh, for our concept, you don't get a special treatment. So you have to make sure that you do everything right and you. Uh, put in all the fail, uh, fail saves, make sure that people can't lose their money. It's, uh, so it's, it's uh, a lot more effort, but, but that's it. You have to put a lot of effort in it. It's and uh, but, uh, it also takes quite some time, so, so, so you can't really start really fast. Because uh, uh, when did you start with the, uh, uh, with three of you to build this, uh, th this, this company? Uh, we started in June, uh, and we were working a long time to, get, uh, all the, to, to really fine tune the concept and discover what exactly we want to do and uh, so um, and we've, we've only recently started on the process of getting the, the licenses.
Okay, so that's that's, that's still uh, it's, it's quite some months, but it's not really a really big time because you, uh, June uh, till next year, so maybe you have a year of preparations before you can uh, can start. Yeah, yeah, and actually, what's funny, I realized uh, yesterday I saw a presentation from uh, Uber and from Pierby, and they. Uh, <laughs> I said, well, of course, you, you need a lean startup methodology, and uh, we're using the lean startup methodology as well. Um, but one of the tricky things is you, you can't really start experimenting in a highly regulated market, or at least it's much more difficult, because you can say, well, we'll just start and see where it goes, uh, but then you'll run into trouble with, with the regulator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I can imagine that, and 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 looking to uh, 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 to your own organization. So, how are you funded? Because you are now working almost for a year uh, uh, with the concept. You were three of you. You, you got your own office. So, how did you get yeah. your own f uh, financials uh, on order? Did you also crowdfund yourself? No, no. Th th this was actually an idea we had, uh, but we didn't uh, we didn't crowdfund ourselves. We have uh, we have an investor. Um, who's paying, and we, uh, at the moment our operations costs are relatively low. So uh, uh, we're also uh, looking around uh, for, for other investors. But at the moment uh, we have one investor, and uh, that's enough to keep us going. Okay, that's really cool. And and, and uh, in the end, uh, because you say, okay, our product is going to be launched uh, depending on the license uh, uh, at the end of this year or the start of, or, or, or of, of, of next year, and what will the pr product look look like? Because I think also with the uh, um, uh, the um, uh, uh, the return you get uh, on your loan, uh, like uh, with uh, uh, on the saving account, it's 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 about one percent. Uh, with the mortgage, it's it's about two point six percent. But when you get other crowdfunding uh, 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 platforms, you get maybe five, six, or seven percent. So why why do you think people are going to to uh, go for uh, your crowdfunding platform and that's for other platforms where they get much more uh, higher return on, on investments? Uh, well, I think that uh, the question there is um, the, the, the interest you get is always related to the risk you, you're exposed to. So of course I can go somewhere where they offer me 10% or 12% on, uh, on my savings, um, but I also have a high risk of, of losing it all. Um, and what we offer is a much safer investment with an interest that's higher than your um, your savings account, quite a bit higher. Okay, and, and in the end, uh, are you going to crowdfund uh, the full uh, mortgage, or are you going to craft or do you got another uh, construction? Uh? No, we actually we cut it up in parts, um, and of course, um, the the lower parts have the lowest risk and the lowest uh, lowest return, and the the top parts of the the mortgage, which, which are the uh, if somebody uh, can't afford it anymore, the first parts to uh, to suffer will get a higher interest. Okay, and and so and, and and how does it, how does it, uh, this work in uh, in uh, in practice? Uh, well, as um, we um, we're looking for s different investors, uh, which could also be institutionals or banks, to fund the bottom part of the mortgage uh, and the the top part. That's the part we crowdfund. Um, and there we uh, people can uh, can say, well, um, I want to crowdfund this this house, so I get a free four percent interest. Okay, and 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 how big is the part of the bottom, and how big is the part of the top? Um, it, it depends, but uh, as an example, you could think about uh, eighty twenty percent. Eighty twenty is a standard. Uh, a standard rule of thumb. Okay, and 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 how are you going to 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 sell your product? Because pe uh, the mortgage is really a really traditional product, product, but also something that really people. Uh, I think that it's really hard to f to find trust in the market because people are really scared about it because it's 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 quite some money for most people. Uh, so yes, uh, 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 so I, I see absolutely really what you mean. Um, well, we have we have two uh, two different propositions, of course. We have the mortgage, um, and we have the in the investment part. And for the mortgage, um, we want to keep it very close to what people know. It's it's our mortgage, the, the Jungo mortgage, is just a traditional mortgage, and uh, you you can't buy it on the market. Uh, <laughs> you just go to your financial advisor, just like you would buying your house. Um, and if our product is a good fit for you, they can they can will recommend it. They will say, well, this is a good alternative for you. So you don't have to go to the to the bank, but you can also take this mortgage. Um, and if people say, uh, if we accept you as a, as a customer, so if w the, the, um, 
uh, the advisor says, well, this mortgage is perfect for you uh, because you uh, tick all the boxes, then we guarantee that you get the mortgage. And this is something that's, uh, uh, I think, unique because traditionally with crowdfunding, um, I, I start my project and I have to wait for the crowdfunding part to fill up. And of course, for a house, that's not something that people would accept. Because if I buy a house and uh, I have to wait for three months and then I have to call the people who I bought the house from saying, well, I'm sorry, the, the crowd didn't, uh, didn't come together. So unfortunately, uh, <laughs> I can't buy the house. So that's not something that we, that we want. So what we want to do is say, if, you, if we accept you as a customer, we guarantee that you will get the money. And afterwards, uh, we put it on a crowdfunding platform and then people can join in and say, well, I also want to uh, take advantage of, of this, this interest. Of, uh, so I'll, I also want to have a stake in this. And uh, so, so that's, how, that's how it works. Okay, so you're really going to tap into the existing system and also into the existing habits of people uh, they already know, uh, they already trust. Uh, but is, this a, is that really a problem for your revenue model? Because in the end, also every uh, new stakeholder involved also wants its cuts of the of the of the of the profit. Um, yes. Well, but um, we don't think that's that's uh, uh, such a big problem. And this, of course, will have to prove <laughs> be proven. Um, no, but we, we want to have as, as few people as possible in between. But we think this is the actual the bare minimum that we need to have this product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we I, 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 I think you're right because I think it's, it's really something. Uh, really, maybe, maybe in the future you wouldn't need it anymore, but f uh, for now it, it's really important to really tap into the existing. And also, then you're we, also. We, we, uh, I think with crowdfunding, I think the problem with, with crowdfunding is also people will see it really as a, a alternative. A way of getting money, uh, but now you're really going to step into existing system, so it will be a complementary uh, a, a way of of of, uh, of of funding. Yes, exactly, and of course now people can also say, uh, for instance, I want to uh, already start saving up for my own house. So you could invest in somebody else's house, and this, I think this is uh, a really cool and in, uh, innovative way. Saying um, instead of bringing my money to the bank, I give it to somebody I know or somebody. Uh, um, uh, who I like, or um, somebody who is in a s similar situation as I am. Uh, for instance, I'm living in Amsterdam West. Perhaps I want to say, well, I want to support people in Amsterdam West when they're buying their houses. Uh, so I'm, I'm putting my money uh, with people uh, who I want to support. I'm, g I'm getting an interest for that, which is, of course, very nice because nobody works for free. So, <laughs> um, but I can use that savings to actually save up for my own house. When I'm buying a house, I can also get a say, well, I want to get a, a Jungo mortgage, and I take my savings that I, that I made from investing in other people's houses, and I'm gonna, and uh, we believe that that way, people, we can really get, get a self-sustaining platform. And hopefully, we get more and more people from the crowd saying, we want to join in, and perhaps at the, uh, in the, sometime in the future, the crowd is the only people you need to, f to fund each other's houses. That of course would be an ideal situation. And uh, uh, is it also uh, 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 your dream that in the end, because now you say, okay, let's say about 80-20, so the, 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 the part of, of the money of the crowd is, 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 uh, is, is, uh, is quite small, uh, but it's... Uh, uh, rel rel relatively, but if you look at the mortgage market, it's huge, I mean 60 billion a year. Uh, so even 20% of 60 billion is a lot of money. Yeah, that's right, that's right. And, 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 and also that's very interesting, of course, for your, for your business, uh, business case. <laughs> And um, uh, when, uh, so like when I'm investing, let's say, uh, uh, 1,000 euro in a crowdfunding campaign uh, uh, through your platform, uh, when do we, we get my money back? Uh, already from day one or after a year or wh when? No, Im immediately from day one. Okay. Because uh, we want to, uh, people with a mortgage have to pay back their money as soon as possible, of course. Uh, it's safer, you have, uh, I think uh, it's, it's also a trend in the market. You have to uh, an annuity. I think it's called. Yeah. Um, so we're 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 doing the, the same. So you you pay back with an annuity, and you get your money back. And of course, you can reinvest your money and say, well, uh, when I get it back, I'm going to invest in somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, and and and, and um, how are you going to? Because uh, you're going to be live uh, uh, in a couple of months. Uh, I think the biggest challenge for platform is always the chicken egg problem. Uh, the, uh, getting the right demand and supply, supply uh, on your platform. So how are you going to yeah. do that? How are you going to solve this, uh, this chicken egg problem? 
Um, th that's a very good question. Um, we want to uh, put. Um, uh, we we want to be controlling how much people we let in, especially initially. Uh, so that way we control, see how much money can we uh, can we attract, uh, how much uh, interest is there for the mortgages. We try to put those two together, and then slowly scale up. So it's um, we we're not going to go uh, running out of the uh, <laughs> just start just start running, but we're going to start slowly and see uh, how it works out and where we need to do some more uh, some more marketing or. Promote it, uh, promote it more. Okay, so 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 you're going to uh, do uh, do a, a a a lean methods, but the only thing is it, it takes them longer because all uh, because all the regulation uh, stuff you have to uh, to uh, yes. <laughs> to fix. And yeah, no, but I, I think uh, th th it sounds like almost like a negative, but it's uh, uh, I think it's good because uh, of course the regulator is there to to protect people. Um, and uh, well, I, uh, just if you look around you, uh, especially the last few years with financial institutions, um, how they've n not always had their customers' interest at best heart, or at, at heart. Um, uh, we started this because we wanted to do it differently. We wanted to be an, an honest, pure, com transparent, open about uh, how we make money, how much money we make, um, open about how many, pe how much, how the, the money flow goes who pays who, um, and I think that's good that the, uh, that the regulator also uh, accepts that and says, okay, this, this is a trustworthy product. Yeah, yeah. These are the good, these are the good guys. <laughs> there they are, finally, finally. <laughs> and, but yeah. but, but uh, aren't you afraid that um, only people will get to your platform, uh, the people who, are, who, who don't get a mortgage through the bank, so the people who are in a specific yeah, market? It's, <coughs> it's, the, it's the lender of last resort problem. Um, it's, uh, no, and we, we, we don't want to be the lender of last resort. Um, so our mortgage product, our mortgage, um, should be competitive uh, for everyone. We, do, we don't want to have some, uh, if, you, if nobody gives you the money, we'll give you money. That's not what we want. We want to have uh, people who can aff afford their mortgage, but who believe in doing it differently. Um, and it shouldn't cost them uh, more than doing, it, uh, doing business with the bank. Okay, okay, great. So, and uh, uh, what are your biggest challenges now before the start? Uh, uh, besides of the, the license, because I think that's a that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, uh, really interesting one. Uh, the biggest challenge, of course, is um, well, th discovering yeah. our product market fit. It's, it look, if you look at the Lean Startup, uh, we, ha we have some ideas about who our mar uh, best market is. And uh, of course, you can think of, of uh, people like freelancers. Um, who at the moment have it more difficult to get a mortgage. Um, uh, we're, we're specifically looking at the millennium uh, group, millennials. So the, uh, a younger generation who is more open to these initiatives, uh, uh, who likes using new technology. Um, so, um, and this is of course in, in, in theory <laughs> uh, a very good idea, um, but we have to discover it. Will, will they buy into the concept? Will, will they start doing this? I think this is one of the biggest challenges, discovering if this this really works. And we, of course, we speak to a lot of people and everybody says, yes, of course, this is a <laughs> really great idea. But it's, uh, now I'm, f I'm very excited to see what will happen if we <coughs> actually start uh, start rolling out the product. Yeah, uh, me too. So I'm, so I'm really going to follow you because I'm uh, also uh, looking now for a new house it's also a new mortgage, oh, so, so, nice. so, so maybe I will be one of your launching customers, so who knows? <laughs> that, that, that would be very nice. So I, I uh, and of course I will then share also my experiences uh, uh, to uh, di different videos. So, but uh, yeah. then I... W well, this, this, should, this should be uh, one of the, um, uh, because if you look, look at uh, banks and traditional parties, um, if, if we do everything right, not even Excel, but just do it right, I think we're... Uh, doing it better than most of the traditional parties at the moment and of course we want to excel we want to do everything better than what's been done before okay so i'm going to check on that uh, of course so i wish <laughs> you uh, all the best with your expedition uh, the coming months uh, to, to to really get your platform running and i'm really looking thank forward to uh, hearing experience uh, when everything uh, is uh, is set up so thanks for the interview and uh, have a good yes. day thank you very much for time you as well with your expedition thank you